just what I need. The home furnishing company Wayfair is slashing 1,600 jobs. And the legendary Macy's is closing five stores and cutting 2,400 jobs. Even the rich and famous can be left feeling adrift when they get the axe, as just happened with TV personality Valerie Bertinelli, who got the boot from the Food Network show, the Kids Baking Championship that she's hosted for 12 years. It really hurt my feelings. And I know it's not supposed to. Logically, I know that it's business. Budget cuts, right? But it really hurt my feelings to know that I'm not going to be asked back. Getting fired is going to hurt, but experts say there are practical steps you should take right away to shorten the amount of time you're left without a paycheck. Deb Muller is an HR specialist. When you're laid off, make a list of everybody you've worked with in your career co-workers, leaders, check out LinkedIn. It's a wonderful resource. You're going to find that there's people that are going to go out of their way to help you on your new career journey. If you have a resume, great. Brush it off. Think about, sit down and think about your accomplishments at your previous job and update it. You want to have that as ready as possible. Sometimes the way in which you're fired is just as bad as getting fired. The media tycoon Anna Wintour is living up to her reputation as the real life Devil Wears Prada. She's getting slammed today for reportedly wearing her trademark sunglasses as the staff of the music site Pitchfork gathered in a conference room to be informed they were being let go. Absolutely bizarro and disrespectful, says one fired writer. I think you need to sort of decompress after you've been laid off. Take some time and then get yourself ready to move forward to the next step.